What is up, YouTube? Zero here, and uh, this is my 100th video, and uh, I'm really happy because I've actually made it this far in my YouTube career. Now, I have a little treat for you guys today. I have top five widgets slash gadgets from five to one, five being the worst, one being the best. So, uh, yeah, links to all these programs will be in the description. So, for the do, let's get started. At number five, we have Start Dock Fences. Now, Start Dock Fences is one of many desktop arrangement softwares. It just arranges all cluttered, like if you have a cluttered desktop, like many people do, like I do right here, uh, this is to organize it into different shapes. You can organize it from different rectangular shapes, that's what I meant to say. Uh, but you could put in anything from pictures, icons, software, string files, desk, or, um, documents, anything. As you can see here, I'm organizing everything into different categories. I put in on top uh, Microsoft Office stuff. The second one is Xbox modding stuff. Third one is Adobe software or photo editing. Fourth one is uh, video editing. And the other one, I don't know what it was. Now, to download this, it's really easy. Just go to startdoc.org and just download it. And it's free. <laughs> Remember, it's free. Uh, there's also a paid-for version, or the one you have to pay for, but you don't want that one because it's useless. The free one's really all you need. And um, I did a little test. It does not waste a lot of RAM. Maximum it will waste is one megabyte. So, that's awesome. <laughs> but, yeah. At number four, we have Windows 7 Start Orb Changer. Now, believe it or not, this software was made by a 12 year old and what it does is it changes your Windows 7 star orb without messing anything it does everything manually so there's no ownership changes no nothing all you do is click on the little star orb on the top right and uh, look for <laughs> the BMP the star orbs for this program have to be in DMB form DMP form sorry which is a picture image and uh, yeah to restore it you just click on the button under the start orb on the software now this is incredible that a 12 year old actually made this because it saves people a lot and I mean a lot of time but yes um, is there any concerns with the software no there's nothing you should be concerned about okay so to download this beautiful software you just go to the link in the description for number four uh, is the link to download the windows 7 star orb changer 2.5 it comes in a zip file so make sure you have win zip or win rar in it's a really small file comes in a folder and it also supplies you with 10 free sample start orbs which uh, I think is pretty neat for people who don't know how to download Star Orbs. Uh, it comes with the Star Orbs, of course, uh, Must Read, and the program itself. Now, for 64 bit version users, uh, make sure to right click and run as an administrator because sometimes it might not work. Alright, so to download more and better Star Orbs, you want to go to deviantart.com and go to Customization. Once your customization, go to skins and themes. When you do that, go to Windows 7 utilities on the bottom, then go to start orbs. Now, make sure when you find one you like, make sure they're not explorer files. Uh, make sure they're not explorer.exes. Make sure they are uh, .bmp, which is a picture file. You could download packs, uh, just like this one. Uh, there's packs of different ones but yeah at coming at number three we have rocket dock rocket dock is sort of like object dock and fences but rocket dock is more of a smaller more simple program to use uh you can make it into different styles you could put in of course your pictures your folders uh there's different gadgets there's little gadgets for it 
Uh, you could put in files like this, like that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about no more. Uh, but yeah, you could put in basically anything, and it's just to make your desktop look more nice and clean. You could change anything from the font style to the Rocket Doc style. Now, the annotations on top, those are for different styles, such as the Leopard, um, the Mac OS X Leopard Doc. Uh, the second one, I believe, is just for uh, to, cust to get custom icons and stuff like that. And yeah. Now, those tutorials are not by me, so I give full credit to the people who uh, created the tutorial. But yeah, to download, just go to rocketdoc.com. You know the dealio, just go to the download section and click download rocket duck um, I'm not even gonna lie to you it is it does it is um, how do I put this it's a RAM guzzler so if you have a lot of RAM such as like 4 gigs 8 gigs you don't have nothing to worry about so coming at number two we have the HTC home Apis. now if you have an HTC phone device you could tell you have this on your phone uh, it does everything basically on your phone. <laughs> it does weather, it does time, and it has a nice little animation when it's sunny outside, uh, thunderstorms, partially cloudy, fog, and nighttime. Now, you could put a 12 hour time or a 24 hour time, change the transparency, you could also put in wind speed and the humidity. Now there are different styles, widget styles, such as uh, if you want like a normal clock, if you want it to be smaller, you can make it larger, but I put the medium size one, but yeah. And it gets all this weather information from uh, MSN, I guess, I think it is, yeah, MSN weather. Okay, to download it, link will be in the description as well, it is htchome.org, and all you can do is click download, make sure you download HTC Home 3. And uh, yeah, and it also comes with an auto updater, so it'll tell you in the bottom right hand corner of your computer to update. And that's really, it really comes in handy, trust me, it really does. Because uh, sometimes there's bugs and glitches and stuff like that, and they're just there to help. So, coming at number one, we have Rain Meter. Now, Rain Meter is a type of clock. <laughs> yeah, it's a style of clocks and uh, different widgets for your desktop. Now this is one widget or this is one style of rain meter that looks absolutely amazing and I do not give credit for myself finding this tutorial. I give credit to It's Lupo. Uh, what it basically has is it has the day, the month, the date, and the year and has a little clock. Now this is It's Lupo's tutorial and how to install that theme and uh, how to install Rain Meter because it, it is a very long process. So I think It's Lupo, my buddy, my friend, my companion, but buddy, what? No homo. Um, if you're watching this, Lupo, no homo is intended. But yeah, so it's really neat and clean and I thank him for supplying that tutorial uh, love you long time no homo again um, but yeah that is all for today thanks for watching please like the crap out of this video I worked really hard on it and remember all links will be in the description so yeah that's all for today thanks for watching and peace